Hello, are you planning to set up your own PC to do AutoCAD, Stat Pro, eTabs and different calculations of civil and structural engineering and this video is for you people. I have gone through a lot of YouTube videos regarding this setting up a PC for a civil or structural engineer. One thing what I thought of sharing was depending upon what software we are going to use it on that we have to select our PC. If I am using a AutoCAD and a simple Stat Pro for the analysis, I don't want a big PC with a very huge graphic card or something like that. So we just see, discuss some of the factors here, depending upon which we have to select our PC, whether it is required the higher assembled PC or a mid assembled PC or a low assembled PC, depending upon the requirement. So we'll go through one by one here different points depending upon which we can set up our own PC and run all of our softwares very smoothly. So let's go with the first one. List of software generally a civil engineer or structural engineers we use it. The first one MS Excel Word and the PowerPoint. MS Excel for different civil engineering and structural engineering calculations we are using it. Word do the documentation. PowerPoint for the presentation. If I am only using these three different MS softwares i don't require a very huge pc or a very high rated pc with a graphic card or 16 gb ram and all those things so if i am using only for the documentation part if i'm doing only estimation using ms excel and doing the documentation and presenting something in the powerpoint then i am in need of a very simple pc or a laptop which will do all these job for different analysis we are using stat pro etabs Tecla Structural Designer, which is a very happening software nowadays. Then for detailing part, we are using AutoCAD. Very common. Most 99% of civil engineers use this AutoCAD. And Tecla Structure, it is booming in the industry now to do the steel detailing particularly and the rebar concrete detailing. And for 3ds, Max, SketchUp and Revit for giving the 3D models of the architectural plan what has been developed in the AutoCAD. Okay, Revit also can be used to give a 3D model of the rebar or the reinforcement what we are going to put it in the concrete. To render all the software to get the photorealistic picture, we are using V-Ray, Lumion, Enscape 3D, Twin Motion, lot of softwares. And for the post-production work, that is to get make that image more photorealistic, we are using Photoshop. So for example, I'll make a list of the software which I am using presently. Okay. I'm using first one all MS Excel Word and PowerPoint. It's a common, we have to use it. Second one, to do the analysis, I'm using Stat Pro. 99% of the times I'm using Stat Pro for the analysis part. And AutoCAD I'm using for the drafting part, for the giving the details to the clients. I'm using SketchUp nowadays. From past six months, I'm practicing SketchUp to give some 3D elevations as per my knowledge. Okay, I'm not an architect, but I do a little bit of simple kind of models for the homestay or resort or simple residential buildings. I'm using even Revit to give the rebar 3D detailing for the clients. I'm using V-Ray and Enscape 3D for the rendering part. I'm not using the Photoshop, okay? So if I take the least of this, I require not the high-end, but the mid-end system. If I'm using the recommended or the very small mid-low level system with having only two GB of RAM without graphic card, I cannot do all these activities. Okay, so depending upon the software, you have to set your list to build a PC accordingly. Next, we'll see the system categories. According to software, how the systems are categorized. Depending upon the intensity of the work we do in the selected softwares in our board list, it has been divided into three parts. One is the minimum, the recommended, it's the mid-level and the high-end requirement. So the, in the minimum requirement, for example, go to the Google and search minimum system, system requirement for a Lumion, minimum system requirement for an AutoCAD, minimum system requirement for a Photoshop, like this, whatever the softwares you are going to use it, just Google it and make a list of it. Okay, I'm going to show the list. Just see that, take the reference of that list. I'm going to give it in the description part and just make a list of all the items, for example, motherboard, RAM, graphic card, keyboard, mouse, lot of things are there. Monitor is there, depending upon the resolution, you have to use it. So depending upon that, what you can do is you can just make a list of it. Accordingly, depending upon the software, you can 
differentiate your PC as a minimum requirement is required depending upon the software you are going to use it or you may have to go for a recommended that is a mid-level what I am using it now or if you want to get it done very fast for example if I am doing a V-Ray rendering in my PC it may take uh, two to five minutes for a one view simple view okay two to five minutes if I go for a high-end PC it may get it done in one minute okay we are reducing the time there and if you do multi-activity I'm having a dual monitor PC I'm going to show it in a while Okay, why I'm using dual monitor because I use multiple software at the same time. Okay, so in that situation, if you go for the high end requirement, it will definitely help you to do your job very easily and smoothly. So depending upon the software you're going to use, make a list of the items and set a point wherein your system will be a minimum required PC or recommended, which is the mid level or the high end required PC. Okay, don't forget to Google it, minimum system requirements for any software, whatever you are going to do it, just do the Google and then set your PC by on your own. You can do it. Okay, this is what I have done it previously. Next, what are the different components of a PC? What exactly we are in need of to do set up a PC? So this is the list I'm going to put it in the description. You can just make a list of it and next to the list, go to the minimum system requirements and just take, just copy paste the different system requirements for different software and just assemble it okay just mark it the common one and make a list of it get the pricing from your vendor the pc is ready to operate okay the first one motherboard we can go for a lot of types of in the, are available in the market generally intel and amd are running in the market so intel i5 i7 i9 processor are very good for civil or structural engineers to run their software or if you are going for amd ryzen 5 series or 7 series is very good for the beginners okay what i'm telling the mid-level systems and for the processors uh, sorry motherboard you can go for asus gigabyte amd msi so while selecting a motherboard people please be like choosy kind of thing here because when you are for example i'm having a 16 gb ram today i want to extend it after two years i'm having a plan of extending it to 64 gb so my motherboard should be in a position to take that load extra okay so i'm having a graphic card now which is having 6 gb okay i want to extend it to a new graphic card which can be 32 gb an external graphic card my motherboard should be in a position to take that external graphic card it should have the facility in it so depending upon that the first the basic thing is this motherboard selection you have to do it then processor you anyhow you can upgrade it if you are having a very good motherboard Next operating system, most of people we use Windows 10 64 bit. Okay, 32 bit is also there, 64 bit, most of the things. Times we are going to use. I have was using Mac also, Mac OS for a few years, like six to seven years I used it. But later on, some of the softwares were not very, like it was not supporting the Mac, therefore I switched back to Windows. Then the RAM, minimum 16 GB. I prefer 16 GB is minimum. If you go for 32 GB, well and good, your system will run like anything, very smooth. Graphic card and its memory, very important. Graphic card, you are having very good graphic cards nowadays. NVIDIA, GeForce, AMD, Redon with the memory 4 GB, 6 GB, 8 GB, lot of things, 32 GB. So I prefer or I recommend minimum of the minimum 4 GB. If you put a graphic card, you can run very good like SketchUp and all you can run it very smoothly. Okay. I'm not telling it's like uh, it will run very good when you, it comes to rendering part okay but when it comes to the like modeling and all it runs very smoothly monitor resolution minimum of the minimum 1920 by 1080 pixels with hdmi height it's required a lot of companies are there now dell lg msi asus lot of companies are there i'm using dell and lg i'm going to show it very shortly hard disk minimum 1 tb hard disk 2 db whatever it is depending upon your requirements your file size you can choose it ssd this is very very important because it acts as a flash drive that is when you switch on the monitor sorry when you switch on the system it will take very minimum of the minimum time to switch on your system okay so use a ssd card okay on your uh, system maybe 250 gb or 512 gb depending upon the software you are going to use it i am using 250 g 6 gb ssd card of Kingston I'm going to give the list of it whatever I'm having it so if you use this it acts as a flash memory okay it is also it will do the same job as the hard disk but it's a short solid state drive very small one 
okay it will hold all the major softwares that are required to run the system or your softwares like autocad and all will be installed in this one so when you are opening it it will be like it will like it's a in a flash of time it will going to open all the softwares okay so internet speed with internet speed i'm going to tell you people a bit very good internet with a consistent speed is required okay i'm using 52 mbps internet it's a consistent internet okay we are having optical fiber directly come to my system using a lan try to use the internet using the lan apart from wifi that is what i suggest keyboard and mouse you can go for dell or logitech which is very like uh, compact user friendly and economic okay then webcam i'm using the logitech webcam so this is the list of the pc components you make it go to the google minimum system requirements for the software you just search it and make a list of it separately and choose the common one depending upon your uh, budget fix it then go to amazon or any other online platform flipkart or anywhere just search the prices take a price list on your own then go to your vendor locally or anywhere then you can ask the price over there with the warranty and all whatever the services they are giving then you can definitely choose your system so now we will see what pc what exactly the components like i am using it the motherboard asus motherboard is there so before going to this i'm going to show you a small video wherein uh, i'm going to explain how my pc setup looks like this is a dual monitor pc with one is the lg the white screen ultra wide screen and one more is the dell 32 inch screen i'm using this is very common for a civil engineer calculator logitech mouse and the keyboard i'm using a fifine t669 mic to record the videos and a webcam logitech webcam i'm using it with all this list i'm going to show it to you now okay the system requirements so this is a system requirement what i have set up my pc the motherboard i'm using asus h370f motherboard which supports up to 64 gb ram and also high end like graphic cards and all next processor intel i core intel core i5 processor i'm using it at, at like 2.8 gigahertz operating system windows 10 64 bit original ram crucial company 16 gb i'm using it presently i'm planning to upgrade it to 32 gb very soon i have upgraded my system like a month before i was having only one monitor now i'm using dual monitors only advantage of using dual monitor is that we can use two softwares like if i'm referring a model okay using a sketchup i can put in my one more uh, secondary monitor and the primary monitor i can do whatever the details i want to do it with respect to that particular software but initially i don't suggest you people to go for a dual monitor go for a single monitor you can go for ultra wide you can like split the screen there itself and you can use it next the graphic card i'm having the zotac gaming geforce from nvidia gtx 1660 ti 6gb dedicated for graphics and i'm having the dual monitors dell 32 inch monitor and uh, lg 34 inch ultra wide monitor hard disk i'm having uh, seagate 2 tb hard disk kingston ssd 256 gb ram sorry hard disk on it internet 52 mbps constant speed optical fiber internet i'm using it from past six months it's like the service they are giving it very nicely for me keyboard and mouse i've shown it to you dell i'm using and uh, webcam i'm using the logitech and the mic to record all these uh, videos i'm using fine t669 so my approximate system cost is coming up to 125000 rupees dual monitor and whatever system i'm going to tell you so if you plan it properly precisely depending upon the software what you are going to use it make a list properly what exactly you are using it depending upon that definitely you can bring your system pc requirement anywhere in between 65 to 80000 rupees depending upon like whatever you are going to use it if you are using a very good if you want to use it as like, uh, the 3d rendering and all those things definitely you have to go for a high end uh, requirement pc okay so this is what i wanted to share it in this video so guys subscribe to the channel keep watching the videos i am coming up with many more interesting topics with respect to civil and structural engineering thank you